words of Shindan Shonin. But with a foolish being full of blind passions in this fleeting world, this burning house, all matters without exception are empty and false, totally without truth and sincerity. The Nembutsu alone is true and real. Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us this Sunday morning. Every day, is filled with unsettling news of COVID-19 and its impact on our lives. Quarantines, closures, shutdowns, self-isolation, curfews, and restrictions. In this environment, it is all too easy to become angry, greedy, or willfully ignore reality as it is. Ah! Crazy people are buying up all the toilet paper. Thousands of tourists are infecting us with the virus. Close the airports and the ports. Hmm. Maybe I should buy more toilet paper and bottled water and cases of Spam and bags of rice, just in case. Better me than those other guys. Who cares? I'm not going to get infected. It's a hoax. Who cares? Only old people die. These reactions are, of course, totally natural because we're only human. We're only human. In Shinran's teachings, we're only human means that we are foolish beings full of blind passions. Anger, greed, stupidity. Doesn't that sound familiar? Yes, anger, greed, and stupidity are the three poisons, the first of the 108 bonno, or blind passions, that cause pain and suffering, both physical and mental, in all human beings because of our fundamentally self-centered nature. Fear causes us to become angry. Anger causes us to become totally self-centered. Selfishness makes us stupid willfully ignoring reality as it is. And then our thoughts, words, and actions cause suffering for others. The bondage of selfishness causes us to delude ourselves into thinking we are the exception, we are special. Somehow, we are immune to the COVID-19 virus. True self-awareness and awakening to reality as it is forces us to confront our utter humanness, our weaknesses and limitations, our self-centered nature, despite our best intentions. Shinran teaches that the heart of great compassion and the mind of non-discrimination are Buddha nature, which is our inherent potential to awaken to reality as it is, to realize the perfect peace of enlightenment when we become one with the Buddha through birth Shinran teaches that Amida made and fulfilled the great compassionate vow to create a path to enlightenment for ordinary foolish beings. That's us. No matter how angry, self-centered, or willfully ignorant we may be, this is the path of Nembutsu, the life of accepting reality as it is, including the reality that we are not exceptional because, in fact, Stubbornly, stubbornly clinging to an illusion of ourselves as somehow special. We are subconsciously aware that there is a huge gap between our ideals and the reality of our reaction to the COVID-19 pandemic. And this forces us to confront our evil self. And it isn't pretty. And yet, the heart of great compassion inside of us, feels the pain of COVID-19 victims and their families, and for everyone who is afraid, lost, and suffering during these unsettled times. But our self-centered human brain 
desperately tries to ignore the pain and suffering around us and around the world. Our brain seeks to blame others for our fear. Our brain tries to rationalize why we won't get infected. And yet, the mind of non-discrimination knows COVID-19 is causing suffering for all people everywhere without discrimination. As friends and fellow travelers on the path of Nembutsu, we are, we are being given the rare and precious opportunity to awaken to our all, all too human weaknesses and thus to truly realize and accept that we are already embraced by Amida's great compassion and infinite wisdom. Today uh, was originally scheduled as our spring equinox or Higan service. Traditionally, Higan is observed during the spring equinox and the fall equinox. And we share the parable of the river of fire, river of water, and the white path. This parable was written by Shantal, the fifth master of the seven, of the seven masters of the Pure Land tradition. Higan literally means the other shore. And in Jodo Shinshu Honganji tradition, the other shore is the pure land of Amida, the realm of bliss, nirvana, supreme enlightenment, perfect peace, oneness with Amida. Imagine a world free of self-centered ego and human weaknesses. No anger, no greed, no discrimination, no fear. A paradise filled with beautiful birds and animals and plants and trees, blue skies, clean air, and crystal clear waters. In the Pure Land, free of our human limitations, we achieve enlightenment and realize the perfect peace of Nirvana. This shore, this shore, is our modern world of suffering, anxiety, and delusion. It is chaotic, it is frightening, it is overwhelming. This shore is filled with bandits and wild animals. We are alone. We are lost in a wasteland. On this shore, bandits are chasing us, yelling and screaming and threatening to hurt us. On this shore, we hear wild animals and beasts growling and fighting over who gets to eat us. Shinran's world and Shinran's words in this fleeting world this burning house and yet on this shore we also hear the calming voice of Shakyamuni Buddha teaching us in the larger sutra of the Buddha of immeasurable life take refuge in Amida's compassion you are already embraced never to be abandoned just as you are have no fear and from the other shore, we hear the calling voice of Amida. Walk the path of Nembutsu with singleness of heart. You will not drown in the river of fire or the river of water. You will not be hurt by bandits. You will not be eaten by wild animals. I will save you without fail. Take refuge in all-embracing compassion and all-inclusive wisdom. Just say, Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. What separates this shore and the other shore are two rivers. The river of fire, which is our anger, and a river of water, which is our greed. The only way to cross the two rivers is a, is a narrow white path, only about four inches across. This is the path of Nembutsu, guiding us to the other shore of the Pure Land, showing us the way between the river of fire and the river of water. On this shore, chased by bandits and wild animals, we desperately seek refuge, but the path is narrow. We have doubts, we have fears, we get distracted, we are lost. On this shore, our lives are filled with shouting voices telling us, COVID-19 pandemic, panic. Bandits who want to steal our money shout at us, 
shortages of toilet paper, huge lines at Costco, buy stuff on Amazon. On this shore, our lives are filled with wild animals and beasts growling at us. Hate the other. Give in to your discrimination. It's okay to be angry. The river of water, our greed, tells us, if I only had more money, a bigger house, a new car, and unlimited toilet paper, then I'd be happy. The river of fire, our anger, fear, and doubt, insists, I'm right, they're wrong. Hate the other, ban tourists. In today's world, it is all too easy to give in to anger, greed, and ignorance. To listen to the voices of the bandits and to be afraid of being eaten by wild animals. But when we listen to the calling voice of Amida Buddha, when we truly hear Namo Amida the inconceivable power of the compassionate vow is working in our lives tirelessly to guide us to Xinjing, the heart of compassion and the mind of non-discrimination of Amida Buddha. And so he got the spring equinox, when day and night are exactly equal. This is the perfect time to reflect upon the balance between our spiritual and secular lives, especially in the midst of a COVID-19 pandemic. Let's return to the words of Shinra. But with a foolish being full of blind passions in this fleeting world, this burning house, all matters without exception are empty and false, totally without truth and sincerity. The Nembutsu alone is true and real. None. Shinran teaches us that chaos and confusion of this world, this shore, are empty and false totally without truth and sincerity. The Nembutsu alone is true and real. Why? Why? Because fear is overcome with faith. Faith in humanity. If you look, you will find countless examples of people helping others, stories of incredible kindness and selfless generosity during this unsettled time. Fear is overcome with faith, faith in our own humanity. If you self-reflect quietly, you will find that you truly want to help others, even as you feel afraid, angry, and lost. Walking the path of Nembutsu, we receive faith in the all-embracing compassion and all-inclusive wisdom of Amida Buddha, who assures our birth in the pure land and thus our supreme enlightenment, and return to this world to guide others to find their way. This faith is called Xinjing, or the heart and mind of entrusting, the heart and mind of absolute faith, the total absence of doubt in Amida's great compassionate vow to save all ordinary beings. The simultaneous awakening to our human limitations and the inconceivable magnitude of Amida's compassion. And the infinitude of Amida's wisdom is a humbling and transformative experience that awakens the heart and mind of gratitude that is too, all too often concealed by our ego self. In Xinjiang, we are free of our fear of dying and death, our uncertainty of what comes after death. And in a single thought moment, we realize that we are free to focus on what we can do in this unrepeatable life. In Xinjiang, we are free to help others, to reach out, to offer a hand, to show kindness to strangers, to share whatever we have. Xinjiang comes to us through the inconceivable power of Amida, not through our self-centered efforts. Namo Amida Butsu is the embodiment of Amida's countless virtues. Namo Amida Butsu is the perfection of practice. Namo Amida Butsu 
is the calling voice of Amida saying, take refuge in Buddha, which gives us the power to take refuge in the Dharma and the opportunity to take refuge in the Sangha. The three treasures have been given to us. Amida has already embraced us and given us the gift of Shinji. We are already walking the path of Nembutsu, leading to our ultimate enlightenment. So, why are we sitting on our collective hokole? Why are we sitting on our butts? Together with our honorable friends and fellow travelers on the path of Nembutsu, we can make a difference. We can make a difference today by living aloha smiling kindly, and offering gentle words to everyone that we encounter today, tomorrow, and each moment of every day. We can make a difference by living mahalo, saying thank you to the hardworking people at the supermarket, the post office, the bank, the first responders, medical and healthcare professionals, the people working in the hot sun and cold rain, fixing and maintaining our roads, power and communication lines and water supply infrastructure, the people who unload the planes and ships, who collect our garbage. And by being mindful and grateful to the countless unseen people and living beings who make our lives possible. We can make a difference by living ohana, treating all people and all living things kindly and gently as if they were our only child. We can make a difference by saying Namo Amidabutsu in joy and gratitude for this rare and wonderful opportunity to receive Shinjin in the present life. The Nembutsu alone is true and real. During these unsettling times, we have a choice. We can be angry, greedy, and ignore reality as it is. Or, we can choose to make a difference. Which do you choose? Do you choose to give in to anger and greed and be swept away by the river of fire and the river of water? Or, do you single-mindedly keep walking the path of Nembutsu to reach the other shore of the pure life of Amida Buddha? You are not alone. You are embraced, never to be abandoned, just as you are. By relying on each other, we can live life with strength and serenity. Walking the path of Nembutsu together, we will all reach the other shore, the pure land of Amida, and the perfect peace of enlightenment. Living in Xinjiang, we are free to live this unrepeatable life just as it is. Please join me in putting our palms together in Gasho, bowing our heads and saying Namo Amida Butsu. 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 Namo.